Hey there, my webcrafting wizards. In today's episode, I want to give you kind of like my thought process on how I create UI designs a bit because I know it can be quite hard to get started with web design and you see all these amazing websites out there and you just put like two buttons on your website and the text and it doesn't look too good and then you delete it and you close your computer and never touch it again that's not what we want we want to create cool stuff so in this episode I'll show you how to create this little perfume design that we're just gonna make in five six minutes here so come along hop on the ride and let's get going all right, so let's start off and see how we can get this going. So the way I like to start is just don't overcomplicate it. Try to get an idea down and see if it works. So now what I'm thinking about, okay, perfumes, right? So I'm gonna find a cool perfume picture. So free pick, there's loads of different websites out there where you can look and see like if you like any of them. I found one of these, I downloaded it, it's this one. Uh, so let's pop it in here. So in Wix Studio here, what we can do is just head and create a new section. There we go. I'll expand this out a bit further out. And we're going to add the plus icon here and just go down to image. There we go. We'll just drag this in and then you can just change it to your uploaded image. In this case, let's upload one quickly here. There we go. And there we go. Once it's uploaded, I can just hit the update button like that. Now, if it looks wonky or funny, just hit the stretch and then stretch it back and that fixes it for us. Kind of want to bring it maybe down here. Again, we'll just experiment and see kind of what works and we're going to scale it up a tad bit. Now, if you can, like if you can get a 3D model of this and add some text on top of it as well, that would be really nice to get that shine. And uh, now the, like the white background doesn't really good, look good on this. So what we can do is just head here and change the color to black like that. Or maybe you can even do Maybe not a pure black. If we had here, we can just adjust this and customize this a tad bit. So let's bring it down here and then just a tad bit up so it's not fully dark. Perfect. There we go. Now I feel like this is missing a little bit of something here. So let's just head into spline to add like an abstract element. I kind of like this look. It feels golden, right? So I kind of want to embrace that. So I'll just make a new project here and I'll get rid of this rectangle. And I'll just take this background color here and I'll just get rid of it. All right, we're not gonna work with the background color. For size here, we can pick a custom size as well, but I'll just leave it for responsive. Okay, cool. So check this out. We'll just add a path here. Quick path, just draw left and right like that, kind of making like a bow like that. Okay, whoops. And we'll just click two times like that. Okay, now why are we making this? It's because we can create a really cool abstract shape from this. So we'll head here to the subdivisions and just increase the satirity. This just adds more detail uh, to this shape. But what we can do is zoom in on this and add a custom shape. So let's head over here to the pen tool again and check this out. If I just draw, okay, it's kind of gonna look like zigzagging left and right. I'll just go up and down and up and down just like a Pretty random shape here, right? No sense to that. But check this out. I can select this shape and select custom here. I'll change the detail to high and I'll pick this shape that I just made and take a look at that. See, it creates this uh, detail around it. So now I can grab this and check this out. If I modify the angle or the twist, you can get this really cool effect. Okay, so let's just turn it Maybe we can do it all the way as well. Depends how much curve you want. I kind of like the look of that. Something like that, not too curvy. Cool. Uh, you can also smooth out these edges if you want. If I double click on this, I can select this smoothening out tool. And then if I just grab and hold a little bit, as you can see, you can add a bit of smoothening to the curve. So let me just zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just adding these small little points here, right? Just a tad bit of curve so it's not too sharp, All right? And then you can repeat this for the rest of it. And make sure it's also not reversed uh, because that's going to look a bit funny. So like that, right? You don't want it like that. Make sure you pull it a bit uh, and make sure it's facing the correct way. So we'll just finish this, follow it all the way along like that. There we go, and that should be good. Okay, 
let's have a look now. As you can see, it's a bit smoother now. Perfect. Okay, so we can close that. We can hide the shape here in the corner. You don't even need to see it. Find like an angle that you enjoy, maybe something like that. I'll grab this light, increase the intensity to maybe like 1.5. And the shadows here look a bit funky. So what we can do is also increase the quality of that. So one, you can do ambient shadows here, turn that on. And the second one, if we select the light, increase the resolution to huge like that. Cool. So that looks cool. One last thing we need to do is change this color, give it like a golden feel to it. So you can use a matte cap for that. Matte cap, and we just need to find the right material. And look at that, we have golden here, perfect. Uh, we'll keep the intensity up on the math cap 100%, but the lighting here we can lower it at. But if you, if you feel like you're not getting the result that you want to get, it might be because your uh, light here, your main light is a bit too strong. So you can lower that to maybe like 0 point, minus 28 or something like that. Let's take this light and again, just move it around, adjust it, see kind of like the effect that you can get from it and yeah, that's that's not too bad. And what else we can do is also add a little bloom effect to this. So if we had two effects on the main tab, we can turn on this bloom. That looks really cool. Okay, let's export this. Head to play settings. We're going to disable orbit zoom and all the other stuff because we don't want the user to spin, spin this little metal piece around on our page, right? Uh, so let's update this URL. We'll copy it over and then on Wix, if you want to add it, it's super easy. Just get a iframe like that. Let's pop it in there. There we go. And then we can also move this to the back so it's not in front of the image. So make sure it's there. One more thing I'd like to do is actually animate this. So I'll just create two states here, a base state and a state. And I'll head to angle here and just twist this all the way to the right. Okay, so that and that. Cool. And now here, I'll just add an event to this and say, hey, on start, make sure you just transition over my base state to the state. All right. And if we hit play, we get that. Now that looks wonky. So what we can do is increase the time to slow the effect down and also change the easing to linear. Something like that. And then we can also make it loop forever by changing this to infinite. Okay. Cool, so let's export that again. We'll update the public URL and copy this over again. So let's head here to the iframe. Now when we hit play, as you can see, we get this really cool effect that moves up and down around. Okay, now to top it all off, let's find some fonts. Hey, so let's head over here to our text. I'll just pop one in. Um, what would be good to use Tom Ford? Okay, let's... Oh, sorry, Tom, Tommy, I'll, I'll take this from you. I'll paste that in there. Change the color to white as well. Select everything just so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, so let's find a size that kind of works with this. So this is quite big. It's quite dramatic. Try like 64. That's not too bad. Let's stretch it out like that. And let's look for a font. Now you get what I mean when like you're trying to pick fonts based on the look of it? It's like, this won't work, right? Or even like Poppins wouldn't really look anything special. So let's have a look. Look, something like Sinsa. Look at that. That looks really pretty. So we'll add that. We'll center it as well with the image. Bring it up. I guess we could increase the font size a little bit. Maybe 84. There we go, why not have big impact? Again, I'm just being very loose here with the design, just trying to see what works and what doesn't. Okay, now again, here you can take a decision like, oh, what kind of color scheme I'm going with. I'll also bring this maybe down a tad bit, just behind the image. Um, so here, like for example, a good color scheme that you could use is this yellow, this gold color. Um, so we could head over to the color here and just try and experiment, we'll add a new one. Put this to the top here and look at that. That looks that looks pretty good actually. Oops, I didn't save. Why? Why would you not save? Okay. And we'll hit apply. Lovely. So that looks fantastic. We'll add another text below. This one will be just a regular paragraph. Okay, I'll 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 take your punchline here, Tom. I'm sorry. 
Let's paste that in there and we'll change this color to white. Awesome. Let's stretch this out so it's not just like five rows of text. Make sure this is quite easy to read. Align the text to center and bring it in just like that. That looks cool. Maybe we could add a line in between as well to make it look real fancy. So let's add a line, bring that up just there. Cool. Uh, we can copy over the yellow color as well. Let's see, do we want it to stretch? We could stretch this all the way out. Oof, not like that, but like all the way like that. Cool. So now again, I have a good baseline. Like I'm quite happy with how this looks. You can continue adding animations to it. So I could go here to the text, for example, uh, to this lightning bolt. And on the entrance, maybe I want this to just like fade in. Uh, we'll do everything here for the text. This one for the line as well. Maybe I want this to slide in. That, that would make it look real fancy. So let's see if we can find that effect. So we want this essentially, but just not coming from, you know, the, the garden all the way here to the website. You just want it from here. A fade, flip, flap. Look at that, that one's... <laughs> so you, you wouldn't really want to go with that one, right? Oh, even that is pretty... Oh, look at that. That's what we were looking for, everyone. There we go. And then we'll just do fade for this as well. But there we go. Look at that. We have a solid start for creating a nice web design. And then from here, we can take it in any way we want. So thank you so much for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a sub, drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one.